Hello Internet World, in today's video I'm taking a look at the Apple TV 4K third generation. And there are in fact two models of this Apple TV. There is the one I've got on the left here, which is a Wi-Fi only model. And this has got 64 gigabytes of internal storage. And then the one I've got on the right is the Wi-Fi plus Ethernet model, which has got 128 gigabytes of storage. The box contents on both are the same. You get a cable to connect this to power. You get a remote control inside the box. And of course, you get the Apple TV. And alongside this, you get some instructions as well, of course, like a quick start guide. I wanna show you the differences between the two of these. They look exactly the same. They both have Wi-Fi, but the slightly more expensive one has got a bit more storage and also has Ethernet. Let's take a look at the bottom. So the Wi-Fi only model, as you can see on the bottom edge here, has the power cable input, and it also has an HDMI output. And the one on the right has an additional port, which is your Ethernet port. Now, you can, of course, connect both of these wirelessly to your network, but the one with the slightly uh, larger capacity, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, as opposed to the entry level 64 gigabytes, also has the Ethernet port. And the Ethernet port just allows you to connect this to your home network and have the best possible connection. And that might prove to be a wise choice if you haven't got perfect Wi-Fi or if indeed you plan on streaming a lot of 4K movies. Having a hardwired connection will certainly provide a slightly better experience. Other than that, both of these devices are essentially the same and they both perform admirably. So much content available on the Apple TV, streaming movies, uh, access to various apps as well. You can even install games on your Apple TV. The slight advantage of the more expensive one, the one with Ethernet, is that you have got double the storage capacity. 64 gigabytes in the entry level model and 128 gigabytes in the one with the Wi-Fi plus Ethernet. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.